Dismount the sash. Refer to the Belfac installation guide under the relevant opening function. Place the sash with the inner side facing upwards. Release the spanulet mechanism and handle by tapping out all wedges. Loosen the internal glazing gasket and remove it. Loosen the weather strip and remove it from the bottom and sides of the sash, but leave it on the top of the sash since it's glued in place. Press the glazing beads free and remove them. First the sides, then the bottom and top. Turn the handle to the open position. Free and remove the handle and espanolette mechanism from the sash. Note the location of the glazing packers. They should be reinstalled in the same way. Free the loose glazing packers. The sash profile is glued to the glass pane in the profile screw and behind the espanolette handle. Cut the pane free and remove the remaining glazing packers. If the pane is not free, then turn the sash around with the outer side facing upwards and cut the glass free below the sash with the rear of a hobby knife. Lift out the pane. If the outer gasket becomes damaged, it should be replaced. Start and end at the top. Compress the gasket while installing it. Cut it off with an excess of one centimeter. Cut the corners. Clean any glue residues from the new pane. Clean glue residues behind the espanolette handle. Place a glue joint at the bottom of the sash and behind the handle. Place the paint down in the middle of the sash so there's equal free space on all sides. Refit the glazing packers as before. Check the diagonal measurement and, if necessary, adjust the glazing packers. Now refit the handle and espanolette mechanism. Slide the bolt into position and click into sash. Fit the handle beneath the retaining bracket, one side at a time. Run the remaining bolts in place in the sash in the same way. Check that the handle functions properly. Click the glazing beads first at the bottom and top. And then the sides. Fit the weather strip in place, starting in the corners, and proceed with the weather strip. If necessary, make the gasket and weather strips flexible with soapy water.
squeeze the gasket into place. Start in the upper corner. Fix it in all corners and proceed with the gasket. A new gasket, if any, should be cut in the corners first. Refit the wedges.